what's coming. That song again. Tell her. Yes. What? The source of the darkness. Oh. It's coming. This is your moment. Is it? Am I ready? What the fuck is that? What are you doing? You're showing weakness. You're not a warrior. You're a disgrace. The gods will punish you for this. Pick up the sword. Pick it up. Fight the darkness. Fight it. Get up. Get up. Get up and fight! Tell them no! Stormy seas and lost souls. She's dreamt of this before. They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts, and fears, as seen by our inner eye. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake, and we only see what our inner eye creates for us? Is this what hell is? A world shaped by Senua's nightmares? Maybe that's why people feared seeing the world through her eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must accept that yours might be too. You failed the gods. You're pathetic. Rotten. Cursed. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? How stupid can you be? So stupid. Everyone hates her. She's cursed. The shadow hates. Look at you. A warrior. Worthless. Weak. Pathetic. Go on. Feel sorry for yourself. Because there is no one left to do that for you. Everywhere. What's that? Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. Broken and lost. Just Do like it. your soul. Do it. Come on. There. Why'd you do that? What did you do exactly? Why go on? When you give everything and face that which torments you. Or in the side of your head? Only to find that it is worse than you could have imagined. Why go on? Is it really so weak to ask this? Or are we just so afraid of the honest answer that we do not dare pose the question? Sometimes the answer lies in a memory, a feeling. A song. It's not real. It's a trick. It's not real. It's real. Listen to it. She can't oh, give up. Did it? It's not like this. It's not real. It's real. It's a trick. Don't trust it. Maybe you're already dead. Who are you? Do you still believe in me, Shadow?
Before she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father's in bell made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs. Errands out in the Orkney Plains. Was her world like this one? Barren and lonely. Is this her mom again? Be sparse, but it is of dancing, and the world danced with him. The gloom lifted, and for the first time in years, she felt a ray of hope. He's there, he's there, right. under the tree. Oh. You can see him. I am. You have to keep Dilly and Gaiety. Northmen tell of a great hero. His name is Sigmund. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother-in-law, King Sigmund, wants it. 
But Sigmund refuses him. So King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast. But when they arrive, they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. <laughs> <laughs>